Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel, Civil Kids. In this video, let us discuss the TSPSC EWE previous questions, that is, which is asked in 2023 question paper and regarding transportation engineering. Okay, let us solve all these questions. Coming to the first question, the maximum number of vehicles observed in any 5 minute period during the peak hour is 150. If the total flow in the peak hour is 1200 vehicles, the 5 minute peak hour factor round off to 2 decimal places is. Okay. He is asking peak hour factor. We know that peak hour factor is equal to peak hour value. That is Q by 12 into Q5 that is peak 5 minutes of flow. Q5 resembles peak 5 minutes of flow. We all know that peak hour factor is equal to Q by 4 times Q15 in case of 15 minutes interval flow. Like if he is asking for 15 minutes interval then this formula is used because in one hour you have four 15 minutes intervals so you have to multiply here with four but in case of five minutes interval you have to multiply with 12 so that 12 into 5 you will get 60 minutes duration that's why i am giving this formula now coming to the peak hour volume that is 1200 by and multiply that is 12 into peak 5 minutes of flow that is 150 that is given in the question. We solve this, we will get 0 0.67 approximately. The first option is 0.67, it is given here. Next, coming to the second question. On a section of a highway, the speed density relationship is linear and is given by V is equal to 100 minus 5 by 6k. So let us uh, write this equation V equal to 100 minus. 5 by 6 k where v is in kilometers per hour k is in vehicles per kilometer capacity of this section of the highway would be okay here all the options are given regarding like free flow speed jam density maximum flow rate all these terms are given in the options let us solve and get the all these terms according to green shields model you know that v is equal to vf into 1 minus k by kj where kj is a jam density vf is a free stream velocity k is a density now let us convert this whatever the expression given in the quotient to this form so v is equal to let us take 100 comma 1 minus 5 by 100 into 6 into k 5 1 5 20 so that you can get 100 into 1 minus k by 120. Let us compare this expression with the actual equation given by green sheet. Now you will get free stream velocity is equal to 100 and kj is equal to 120. For maximum flow rate, you know the expression q max is equal to Vf kj by 4 and this maximum flow rate will occur at k equal to kj by 2. What is Vf? That is 100 into kj is equal to 120 by 4 and k is equal to kj by 2 that is 120 by 2. You will get 60 here and if you solve this you will get 3000 vehicles per hour and here 60 vehicles per kilometer. Now let us see the whatever the options given by here. Free flow speed is 100 kmph and jam density is 120 vehicles per kilometer. Okay, here whatever we got is same like free flow speed is 100 kmph correct only and also jam density is 
120 vehicles per kilometer. Okay, A is correct one. Next, coming to the maximum flow rate, it is 3000 vehicles per hour. And coming to the at and critical density, 60 vehicles per kilometer. Okay, this is also correct. A and B are the correct answer. Second option is the right answer, that is A and B only. Next, coming to the next question. A vehicle has a wheelbase of 6 meters. What is the off tracking in meters while negotiating a curve path with a mean radius of 60 meters? We all know that for off tracking distance, we use a formula that is D is equal to L square by 2R, where L is the wheelbase length that is 6 meters, it is given in the question 6 square by 2 into radius of the curve that is 60. If you solve this expression, you will get nearly 0.3 that is given in the second option 0.3 is the right answer. Coming to the next question, a road is being designed for a speed of 100 km per hour. Okay, let us write the whatever the values given in the question. B is equal to 100 km per hour. On a horizontal curve with a super elevation of 7%, it is E is equal to 7%. The coefficient of side friction is 0.15, that is F is equal to 0.15. The minimum radius of the curve required for safe vehicle or movement or minimum is asked. We all know that the basic expression that is equal to E plus F is equal to V square by 127 R where V should be substituted in kilometers per hour, R should be in meters and E we have to convert from percentage to decimal value and F is in also normal decimal value. Now let us solve this question. He is asking R. Okay, for R, we have to make convert this expression that is V square by 127 into E plus F. Let us substitute the values. That is 100 square by 127 into 0 0.07 plus 0 0.1. Remember here, we have to substitute in the decimal value E not in percentage. If we solve this, we will get approximately 357.9 meters. Second option is the right answer. Okay. Coming to the next question. Okay, the coefficient of average rolling friction of a road is FR and its grade is percentage, that is G percentage. If the grade of this road is doubled, what will be the percentage change in the braking distance? First of all, what is the expression for braking distance? That is, D is equal to V square by 2G into F plus or minus G percentage. Here, F is given as FR and G is expressed as G only. This is the basic expression. He is asking the what is the percentage change in the braking distance. Let us write what is the first one. That is D1 is equal to V square by 2G into FR. This is the positive gradient. So plus, here it is given as G percentage. So you have to write in decimal. That is 0 0.01 G. Coming to the D2, it is V square by 2G into FR plus he is telling that the gradient is doubled in the second case. That is 0 0.02 into G. Here V square by 2G, whatever it is there, it is constant for both the distance. So we can, if you substitute in the equation also, it should be cancelled. So remove this and let us write this. 1 by FR plus 0 0.01 G minus 1 by FR plus 0 0.02 G. This is the initial expression for breaking distance. This is the second expression. Initial minus final by initial into 100 will give you the percentage variation. 1 by FR plus 
0.01 g. If you solve this expression, you will get 0.01 g by fr plus 0.02 g. This is the fourth option you can see here. Next, coming to the next question, the average spacing between vehicles in the traffic stream is 20 meter, then the density of the stream is. Okay. For example, it is given as the spacing between each and vehicle is nothing but 20 meters and the total length is 1 kilometer, that is 1000 meters. If you divide that 1000 meters by 600 meters. Here. here 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meters. If you divide this 1000 meters by whatever the spacing, you will get the number of vehicles on the road. That is 1000 by 20 will give you 50 vehicles. That is nothing but vehicles per kilometer there, 50. 50 is the option. Next, coming to the next question. While aligning the hill road with a rolling gradient of 7%, the horizontal curve of radius 100 meters encountered, what is the compensated gradient in percentage as per IRC? We all know that the grade compensation that is G C is equal to, it should be taken as minimum of 30 plus R by R, 75 by R. Let us calculate this value, 30 plus, the radius is given as 100 meters, 100 by 100, we should get this value nearly 1.3, coming to the 75 by 100, that is 0.75, minimum of this is 0.75, for compensated gradient, we have to deduct this from the 7 percentage, that is 7 minus 0.75 will give you 6.25. This is the compensated gradient, 6.25 percentage. It is given in the option 4, 6.25 percentage. Okay, this whatever the values we get here, it should be in percentage only, don't confuse with that. And also this compensated gradient should be greater than 4 percent. Remember this thing also. If it is less than 4 percent, we have to provide 4 percent only. Next, coming to the same thing that is green shield model. A linear relationship is observed between speed and density on a certain section of highway. The free flow speed is observed to be 100 km per hour. It is given as Vf is equal to 100 km per hour. And the jam density is estimated to be 120 vehicles per kilometer. That is Kj is equal to 120 vehicles per kilometer. Based on the above relationship, the maximum flow expected on this section and the speed at the maximum flow will be respectively. Okay. Maximum flow, we all know that Q max is equal to Vf into Kj by 4. And it is should be at K equal to Kj by 2 and V is equal to Vf by 2. Remember this thing. Next, substitute in this, that is 100 into 120 by 4. That should be 3000 vehicles per hour and coming to the V, Vf by 2, it is 100 by 2, it is 50 kilometers per hour. Let us see the option 3050. Here you can see 3000 vehicles per hour and 50 kilometers per hour. This is the correct option. Okay, next coming to this question, running speed is higher than journey speed. Consider the following statements it is given and first option is that is running speed is higher than journey speed. Journey speed includes delays. Journey speed is the average speed maintained by vehicle over a given course while vehicle is in motion. Running speed is known as the overall travel speed. Okay, first of all you have to understand what is running speed and what is journey speed. For example, if you are traveling from A to B.
and in between at a place suppose suppose in at x you have taken a halt for suppose 5 minutes or 10 minutes if you are speaking about journey speed the total duration from a to b including halts also it is taken consider during journey speed if you are considering running speed whenever the vehicle is in motion just when the vehicle is operating or vehicle is moving at that instant only you have to consider the duration that is nothing but running speed okay I hope you understood the difference so whatever the journey speed it, it should be lesser compared to the running speed because we are considering the halt also so that that speed automatically will get reduced so running speed is higher than the journey speed a is correct answer and also journey speed includes delays just now i told you journey speed is it's considering halt also so that journey speed includes delays a and b are correct answer next coming to the third option journey speed is the average speed maintained by a vehicle over a given course while vehicle is in motion no journey speed includes halts also whatever the brakes you are taking it should be considered so it is the wrong option next coming to the fourth option the running speed is known as the overall travel speed no it is not the overall travel speed running speed is considered only when the vehicle is in motion here it is given as overall travel speed no it is also wrong option is coming to the okay here e and b are the correct options you can see third option is coming to this question here by seeing the options you can directly say that for stop sign it is octagonal shape you can see the options e is given for two only this is given directly remaining uh, in all other options it is not given as es2 so you can directly pick the fourth option in this way also you can simply pick up the correct options accurate coming to the remaining you can see a is 3 that is upward equilateral triangle for cautionary sign and b is 4 that is indicator sign for rectangular shape also c is 1 yield sign is in downward equilateral triangle and d is 5 that is prohibitory sign should be in circular shape next coming to this question the extra widening required for a three lane national highway at a horizontal curve of 900 meters radius considering a wheel base of 6 meters and design speed of 100 km kmh what is the formula for extra widening is e is equal to nl square by 2r Plus v by 9.5 root over r. This first the expression is for off tracking, and second one is for psychological widening. Now here you can see three lane national highway. So n is nothing but three, and the length of wheel base it is given as six meters, so l is six, and radius of curve it is given as 900 meters, so r is 900, and v is the speed. V is in kmph. Okay, don't confuse this one. And R should be is in meters. This is a empirical equation, so you have to substitute in fixed units. Okay, n n is nothing but three into six square by two into nine hundred plus v that is hundred kmph by nine point five root over radius of curve is nine hundred meters. If you solve this. Thing, We will get approximately 0.41 meters. It is 0.41 given in the first option. Next, coming to the find out the length of transition curve for a broad gauge curve of three degrees having a cant of. 12 centimeters maximum permissible speed of a car is 100 kilometers per hour and the allowable can deficiency is 85 m in railway engineering for calculation of transition curve we know the formula that is length of transition curve is equal to 0.073 into d into v max where d is a can deficiency and v max is a permissible speed And here you have to substitute can deficiency in centimeters. V max should be in kmph. We substitute those things: 0.073 into 8.5 into 
100 you will get 62.05 meters it is given in the fourth option okay for confusing you also you, he will give the extra information like 3 degrees and also pant all these things are also given so don't confuse this you can directly substitute in this formula and you will get the direct answer let's come to the another question the design speed on a road is 72 kilometers per hour so v is equal to 72 kilometers per hour assuming the driver reaction time that is t is equal to 2 seconds coefficient of friction so f value is 0.3 stopping distance that is he is asking about Stopping side distance that is SSD for a two lane two way traffic. Okay, he is asking for two lane two way traffic. If it, for example, if you take single lane two way traffic, then you have to multiply with two, whatever the stopping side distance you will get. But in this two lane two way traffic, you don't have to do anything. SSD that is given by VT plus V square by 2GF. V that is 72, it is in kmph, so multiply this with 5 by 8 into time that is reaction time 2 seconds plus V square that is 72 into 5 by 18 whole square by 2 into G is 9.81 or you can take approximately 10 but you can see the if the options are very close then you have to consider 9.3 here let us take 9.8 only into f that is 0.3 if you solve this expression you will get 43.3 is the second option okay that's it guys these are all the transportation engineering questions which are given in the awe 2023 paper okay Hope you can understand each and every problem. If you have any doubt also, you can comment in the comment section. Just go through the questions. You can see it is mostly asked in green shield model. Okay. Almost 3-4 questions are from green shield model. Okay. Please consider this as an important topic and please remember the formulas also. And also highway geometric design he is also asked like SSD and also minimum radius. Basic formulas also he asked. So, Go through these questions and also remember those are important topics. So please subscribe my channel and also I will do whatever the remaining questions from different subjects also. So thank you.